Tico team is now in the safe zone. Everyone is safe in the next circle. It is moving in. Double, head Double sniper heavy. is in play. For those of you guys who do not know, a heavy sniper will take out the metal wall. will take out pretty much anything. Those 1,500 damage yes. structures. So if you have two teammates who have double heavy snipers, they can see a team, line up a shot of somebody hiding in a one by one, and, and be able to take them out. And that changes the game completely. Once you hear double heavy, you can no longer sit still ever. Or if you know where they're at, you have to make sure you have at least two walls of cover on that side to protect you from the inevitable double snipe. And when we say double snipe, it's as far as one, two, three, shoot. And they both fire at the same time and catch no you off guard. Yeah, it's absolutely zero time to react. You guys about these items. You get like shadows for this guy, and they have a ball. It's pretty up to these guys. It's a great spot. Absolutely. And you see the zones did just up towards the northern side of the third storm. The storm surge is now in play, so players begin to drop. 80 players are total in this game. They will just rotate on out of here. Hyphen Circle don't want, don't want the fight in. Uh -oh. That's Jay now quite, quite weak. Uh, with Storm Surge beginning to tick in, Quinn and Lanouf now having to push a fight as Storm Surge is affecting them as well. And you see it just kind of smite them down from the heavens, and there they go, getting dropped by Storm Surge. Unfortunate for them, but again, with not enough damage done, they do fall below that threshold. Jeez, man, Storm Surge really does just more people into it. It's pretty crazy situation, but again, man, it's just going to be a lot of aggressiveness is going to pay off for, the, for teams, man. You don't want to be put in a situation where you, know, you have to be better than in combat, you know what I mean? And Airwax and Nikon That's a replay. Wait, was that a replay? There's no down. Airwax, Airwax and Nikon are winners. Well, Airwax at least are back-to-back -back winner of the Pro-Am. Does go down. Airwax double qualified as well. Tough first game for them, as they do go out quite early on. 71 players left in this game. 38 duos. It's a slow crawl as everyone begins to drop. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, I, I think the only time I really saw numbers like this or like the circles were they didn't really chunk that much and they were more central in the beginning of competitive. So really no one had to rotate that much, no one had to fight. So now that we're kind of moving around the map, we can't really do that. We're getting these players who have against the great aim and they're just beating people who are focusing on trying to get the circle. Now look, so many people are going to be south right now. It's just three kills and guys are in a top position. With solid aim. Are you wearing a texture right now? I'm already getting teams spamming the space bar trying to get as possible to get. You see a lot of the guys figure out right now where's he gonna look at all these people are already coming out, they're already creating the tunnels, the more are coming down, he's gonna be able to make it eight for eight. So that's gonna be if you can get in a position where some players are already getting focused on the outside, eight for eight, he might be able to see the kills too. Yep, that's right there. They do box up in time. Did take some shield damage, but thankfully they have some to punish that. Just a few brief moments as there's Eclipse A. Now using it, got his teammate right next door to our med kit. They're gonna pop that to every little thing that he matters. The campfire for the moment, it appears. All that within the campfire. The elimination feed right there. Here's a look at Mongrel earlier with his duo du du intro. They're set up early in the zone. 68 players left. Love watching this guy play, man. I mean, here's the check of uh, his inventory only got two right now, which is in the track of combat shotguns. So we have two spray guns. All right, spray guns are great. We have two of them. We have a tactical assault rifle, a scar, anything like that. You know, we've got to have to have a gun that can shoot pretty quickly to kill players and hit players through their one by one. You know, very difficult. Five slurps, two slurps, five chug splashes. They already have a slurp ticking. This is insane. Super close to the zone as well. They don't have to move too far. Yep, and material flies. Look at that, 135 total builds. They're in a fantastic position to make some noise in game number one. We'll definitely keep up to date with them. This slipstream is only the two towards where it begins to shut down this little bunch. So many slipstreams still available in this current zone. A lot of players will use that to rotate on in freely without the launch pads or the shadow bombs. There's your whole map right there. The eastern side of the zone. None of these players are really going to be in a play to
damage below will have to begin to put shots down range. The zone's pushing as well. So in this position, with the zone at their back, Mitro's goal, spray players who have to push the zone. They have one way they can go. They can go take some damage. They've got to push out of it. Mitro knows that. He now begins the fire. Dubs just below as well. One of the players who qualified multiple times through solos and then once in duos. They also have to break the Gonna be rotating in, being forced to rotate in. Everyone knows that. Very little ammo though. Look, these are the last nine assault rifle shots in Dubba's inventory. It is getting scrapped, folks. Now there is the split. Still being 80, meaning between the two. They really have about 150 shots to work with. The zone is still pushing. 61 players left. Reminder, folks, this is game number one of six today in the duos competition. Dubs does go down with the player. Got that back ball. He wasn't quite ready for it. Mega frantically back and got up, trying to create some space. Will he be able to He's gonna go for the pop out He's got to have the storm surge on. Right, he's going to still below. Right, he's gonna need yeah. to rest. He won't even have time to revive his teammate. Oh, his teammate no. got finished, actually, so he's got all the shields in the world. He can get back up to full health. Storm surge is still ripping him apart. That slurp is barely keeping him alive. He's for 25 damage every time it winds up ticking. There it is again, dropping on in. Mega's hand is forced. He's a big damage right there. Still below. below. Doing a solid job of keeping himself alive right now through the storm surge. Fantastic composure from the young players on the stage, looking to try to secure the title of the world, world champion. Over dubs the duo. Still, still okay, down. So now, now above. Finally above. Yep. Finally above. And guess what? The most important thing to realize, guys. Look at that rotation. Yes, he's alone. Yes, his teammate's down. But he has an incredible kit to not only make it to late game, but maybe even clutch this win out. He dropped the, he dropped the shotgun. shotgun. Okay, there you go. Got the combat shotgun. One of the great shotguns to have late game. Does incredible damage, long range and close range. And all the guys in the circle just rotated now into the storm. Massive amounts this of is, distance needs to be covered. This and storm this is surge it. is insane. It's still going on. on. Finally taking out 52 players left. And this is where things are about to get serious, guys. Thomas dropped some ammo right there for his teammate, Inclusia. And you see, Thomas, that epic infantry rifle, one of your favorite weapons, Ninja. Oh, yeah. What is so good? It 100% awards pinpoint accurate players, right? There's no good necessary. Your marker, your aim is right on their head. Boom. You're going to get that headshot. You're going to get 80 points of damage. And there's now the upgraded versions, the legendary and the epic, have 10 shots instead of 8. So, I mean, it just packs a punch, man. It can really catch players off guard. And that's exactly what you're going to need when you're playing against the players who will literally build and protect themselves when they get shot once. There are 45 players left in this very, very small zone. Try to 
take it. You know that if you really want the chance to win, you're gonna have to try to hide on off or have a rock launcher and just take him out of it. He's just so weak, and Mr. Savage just looks up and beams the player out of the air. It's all Benji, Fishy, and Mr. Savage in the elimination feed right now. 24 players left in this one. But almost no There's almost no duos remaining, Ninja. Right, it's all solos, and this is kind of what's gonna happen, man. Mr. Savage that. goes down. down. It's up to Benji, and then this is Benji's been in this position before. He knows he can handle it. Nitro's still in the game. I was well. I just saw him. He looks incredibly healthy, but now he's taking some storm damage. Benji's gonna try to lose the only shout out that he has one build left. Yep. That's it. That's all he has. Uh, he's got 10 total builds. 10 total builds. He's trying to outlast as many players as possible. Remember these placement points. We've made it into our top 10 duos. Now into our top 8. Zay, Zay, and Zaf now. Zay and Zaf now on the high ground. This game. One of the few to the only duo left. This has a Zay and Zaf win written all over it. Mitro, Mongrel's duo, was all by himself Back very early on. Still alive in this one. 40 yard score now getting beamed. Kevin North America. Of Saint and Staff close this out, raining down fire from up top. You see the frantic builds coming in. Benji Fishy goes down. Mega, Mitro, and Starlet on the low ground. Shots still coming on in. Zayn and Staff just sitting pretty. God, Mitro just got a double, I think. Mitro Five limbs. Tries to get it done. Not enough. Zayn and Staff, two versus one. Will they take game number one? Yes, they will. Zayn and Staff had the high ground. In the entire game, rain fire from above. It, we're able to make up five limbs plus 10 place points. 15 points. Game one. Talk about a monster game number one. You saw the immediate reaction. They know how key that was. And I've watched so many games of competitive Fortnite Ninja. They were the only duo left with still like 18 players remaining. When they get the high ground like that, they send one player down to get close. Scarlet was already back, and there's just no shot. Players of Zay and Sap take game number one. And you know, Ninja, that was a big topic of conversation. Players with playing experience, players who've been around the Fortnite competitive scene right. at these major events for a long time. Will they get let the nerves get to them? Guess what? The answer is no. Zay and Sap take game number one. They kept their composure. It was absolutely incredible to watch, man. And I seriously, these guys have been absolutely dominant in World Cup online. And it's only fair that they continue to show their dominance here at the end. Early in performance, you know that their game plan is always last as long as possible. But the fact that they made it through those storm surges, even with them not getting very aggressive, they had zero limbs down in those final few moments. Mr. Savage and Benji Fishing, we have to talk about them for a second as well. They were off the high ground, but so many players focusing on the shockwave for as well, and they had no it's unfortunate, man. We have a, a, a group full of these players who are literally the best in the world. Uh, they know exactly how to win, right? So if they don't have the high ground, they know that whenever there is a moment, the thing has to shoot the high ground out of the rockets, shot those grenades. I think that's actually what happened. It's just shot those up and knocked them off the high ground. Yep. But when you have to feel like they snapped it at the end there, and that's ground. What a sigh of relief. Incredible. Two. Incredible first game. And we're only just getting started. Only just getting started. Number two. Dollars to be rewarded. Tomorrow we do it all over again. There's a lot of stake glued to the streams here for the Fortnite World Cup Finals live from New York City. Use the hashtag Fortnite World Cup Finals. Send an engine and I your thoughts after game number one. Man, right? So, let's see how these guys change. I wonder if the guys. Did 